the day i turned 20 it was the most memorable most profound yet most difficult phase of my life i remember when i was running late for college and uh, i had n number of things going on in my head and i was not a teenager anymore and when you step out of this phase of adolescence then you realize that there is a lot going on in the world and you are suddenly hit with the surge of emotions that you you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders especially when especially when you are the eldest and uh, you feel like the son of the family and you know you have n number of responsibilities you've got to fulfill them and you reflect on your transition from adolescence to young adulthood and that phase is the most confused most bewildered phase of our lives so yeah welcome to musings of mano once again and in this video we are going to talk about the day when i turned 20 and i hope you guys can relate with me because the day i turned 20 after that everything that happened was not always in favor of me but for for my best for the good and for all the best in the world so let me start my story i woke up late and i was at the subway i was just watching all the metros were passing by and people were rushing to their homes and going to their work and all of this i was watching and not realizing that i had a class to attend i had a lecture to attend i missed all the lectures that day i only attended one i still remember and she was my favorite teacher in my college university and she used to teach us economics and when i entered the class i was already late i had i had a chance to leave the class but i thought at least i'll get one attendance so it was the last class i entered and everyone knew that it was my birthday especially my close friends because in university we were not always close to every single person but there were a lot of close friends so i went and sat there and there she was one of my friends swati she started cheering and she started you know wishing happy birthday to me and then the teacher economics teacher i thought she won't say anything but she was so furious that day i was about to go and you know get her blessings but then i realized that she was so furious she was like you cannot do that in a in this environment i was teaching and you are not supposed to wish so loudly even if it's her birthday you're not supposed to do that and i was so embarrassed i was so 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 embarrassed that day i don't know uh even no nobody was wrong that day neither the teacher nor my friend she did what she wanted to and the teacher could have actually just let it pass but she did the right thing i guess so yeah but after that everything went well i went with my friends and they had arranged a lot of things for me they even arranged a lot of decoration and a cake and so many things for me i was so surprised and i was so happy as well because that was the first time in my life that a part uh, like it was not just my parents and but there were few more people who cared about me and my birthday so when i went uh, went there and i enjoyed a lot enjoyed thoroughly that day uh, but you know turning 20 still had in my head somewhere i was still wishing i would wish i, I was wishing that uh, uh, maybe i could live one more one or two more years in the teen age only but then it couldn't happen because we cannot turn back the time and we cannot bring the old times back so after that we went to few cafes and we enjoyed there i felt like the main character of my story again and that was a wholesome day so this was the story but i will tell you what i did in the subway i was sitting there and i was writing a note to myself there was a picture of me from my college only and i was so really elegant in that picture and i was writing to myself that uh, Uh, dear Manu M, I call myself Manu M. So I was just writing this positive self talk to myself, and uh, I wrote a couple of things that I manifested on my birthday. And that year, when I wrote it, the next year, the very next year, almost all of them came true. And the best wish that I had in my mind that came true as well. I could not imagine that what when you actually tell yourself. those who get successful they are not always lucky but they are specially hard working and i don't know if i worked hard but it actually happened just because of that one positive self talk that i gave myself on my birthday before a day before my birthday i was literally crying at my home so as yes, uh, uh, somehow we ended up uh, breaking our old memories it was a pen drive and we ended up 
broken uh, breaking it because um it had memories from like 10 to 20 years ago and it will it ha- it contains so many beautiful memories of us and i was just crying but that made me you know when you you don't realize why some things get connected to the other i was just i was it was just about pictures i could easily let it go but i was having this thing in my head that what have i done for my family what have i done for those who have done a lot for me and then suddenly this realization hit me and then i wrote a note to my father that uh, no matter what i am going to make him proud and i don't know whatever it takes i'm going to make him proud like i wrote a whole paragraph about 200 words that day and it was night i was crying while i was writing and uh, that was the kind of i think motivation or you can say self assurance that i needed from within myself there are some moments in your life when you get hit by the realization and that is the moment when you need to hold on when you need to hold it very tightly so that it doesn't go away and when you hold it tightly after some years after some time you see the results and i think these are very little things but they really matter in your life this phase when the surge of emotions is going on or this phase when you lose something even if it's your pictures you get hit by this realization to do good in your life and to become something in your life so that uh, those who have done a lot for uh, for you your whole life like my parents not even a single birthday when i had no cake on my birthday when i had no surprise or when i had no celebration not even a single birthday like that every single time they prepared something for me and that meant everything to me so moving ahead why so many emotions why a roller coaster of emotion only when you turn 20 or you hit a certain age like 18 or even you hit 21 22 23 why why like that see it is like when when you are when you are a kid you are in that happy kind of bubble when you are a teenager you are in that you know even if you are 12 years of age you are in that happy bubble when you know that there is nothing going to be wrong you have your parents by your side but as soon as you grow up there is a pressure of everything there is a pressure of academics there is a pressure of university and becoming something there's a pressure of your friends as well that they are doing something very well in their lives what are you doing everyone starts just focusing on you rather than rather than their own children so that makes you so confused and at the same time that you are not able to decide what to do with your life when you actually don't have any idea because you just stepped out of your teenage years you just stepped out of your adolescence and you you don't have any idea what to do with your life so i think it is always uh, both both for the good and for the bad so you know i i remember this quote from taylor swift she has said see uh, i did, i was not a very big fan of her but i am a very big fan of her speeches everything that she says she said that um, the good news is the scary news is that you are on your own and the good news is that you are on your own so especially this it has both pros and cons so the pro is that you get the independence you get that expectation fulfilled that you were you had from yourself long ago that teenage self that used to admire a corporate employee that teenage self that used to admire and uh, you know admire the youtuber in you everything you have the potential to achieve right now because you have grown up you have that maturity you have that intelligence you have that courage to go and do whatever you want to do it's not the time to sit and be lazy at your home and that is the time when you identify and explore what you really want from your life this is the time when you transition to independence in the early 20s your when you're 20 21 22 and you frequently involve into that so that you can improve yourself every single day and you know this is the age when our relationships will change and we will have a lot of choices uh you know it it may not coin, coincide with our needs every day uh, with our expectations but somehow you understand the dynamics of relationships you understand the dynamics of being in your own zone when you know that this person is toxic you just cut it off you just cut it off and you you don't you distance yourself from them and when you know that someone is not supp- supporting you they are just draining you somehow you just distance yourself from them even 
if they used to be your best friends if they used to be closest to you you just distance yourself from them that's the best way you know people will come and go but your mental health your peace your priorities should be straight then you have educational and career choices that you focus upon that you talk about and you need people you actually need a lot of people with you who have the same choices who have the same goals as you who are not they are not just involved in other stuff they are also involved in studies they are also very much focused on everything going on so yeah that is the phase where personal growth and reflection is important when you have just stepped out of your comfort zone and you are you have the whole world in front of you this reflection can trigger emotions of nostalgia but at the same time pride or desire of self improvement and when you are so high on self improvement i'm telling you this thing you can write it somewhere and i mean it when you are so high on self improvement and growth you actually do the best for yourself you avoid unnecessary drama you avoid unnecessary relationships and conversations and you know that you know replying to this one text might end up getting my whole day or my whole month maybe so you know that you do not have to reply to that one text even though it is an appreciation of you even though someone has complimented you you just have to avoid such things because you know that very well that it it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter you can wish people good you can do pe- good for people but you do not have to indulge yourself in a relationship with people not actually so yeah that's when the journey towards ambiguity of the future begins and the early 20s can be characterized by a sense of you know ambiguity about the future when you are prepared for that when you were a teenager you did not prepare at all i did not at least and when i see teenagers these days i get so inspired that they have actually started doing stuff that i couldn't even imagine when i was a teenager and that doesn't bring me down not at all they, it it does not de- demotivate me when when someone tells me that when i see teenagers doing a far better than me i get demotivated why i get demotivated it's your time you still have time even if you're 60 years of age you are at your own age you have a good life you do not have to worry about others what others are doing maybe they started a little early maybe maybe they had more problems than you maybe they had more trouble some issues than you so you do not have to compare your journey to some other person you saw online so in essence of the emotional turbulence and experience around this age i would just say this one thing that 20 is a natural response to multitude of change and self discovery and that's why i felt those emotions and that's why i shared it with you guys and uh, i would love to know this was my journey and what did you feel when you turned 20 and uh, if you are going to turn 20 then what are your plans for that to let me know in the comments below and uh, i i hope you guys liked my conversation i do not speak this much actually at my home but i am doing that on youtube these days and yeah i got a mic as well if you saw that or not i don't know <laughs> i'll see you in the next video till then take care of yourself and keep hydrating yourself even though it is winter keep hydrating i hydrating yourself because you know it's it's very important Bye bye take care of yourself and subscribe to my channel for more such videos